GM fam. Big alpha drop this morning on Curve USD. Let's dive in. So always, it's very entertaining to watch these big scoops about Curve coming from users that you never would have expected. In this case, this is a user named Curvy, who before this had about two Twitter followers, uh, an account created just this month. Uh, but in this, they posted a chat which we've confirmed to be authentic. So the chat basically starts with Curvy asking New Mitch Will, the alpha who's leaking this alpha, assuming that there will be some kind of constant earnings going from towards VECRV holders from stablecoin, for example, from minting. Uh, Michael says, yes, all the interest paid by borrowers, all of it. Okay, pretty interesting. Would it make sense to convert VECRV LPs every week into Curve Stablecoin, giving them automatically earn three pool LP as collateral? Exactly. Once well debugged, I think Stablecoin is just fine. So this is also pretty interesting. So at this point, we see that uh, there's some ambitions to perhaps use Curve USD as part of the overall tokenomics within Curve uh, for particularly uh, VECRV lockers. So Curvy goes on to ask, I mean, basically constant cash flow while Curve is running. Yeah, if you take something like Ave or Maker TBL and take like 2%, that's sick. Such is correct. Imagine TBL similar to like Ave, and 2% of that is annual fee, which goes to VECRV. So this is pretty interesting because we're talking about Ave, uh, which is about 5 billion locked makers at like 7 billion. If we take 2% of that, that would be in the 100 to $150 million per annual fee going to VECRV holders. Pretty good. Pretty good. There's about 3 billion total curve that can be locked, about 50% or more is getting locked. So you can do the math and see that this is like maybe a um, uh, uh, decent, decent stash that's going to be going to be CRV lockers each year. And this presumes we stay at this bear market. It also presumes that we get to this amount of volume locked. And here is where I think that it's worth like reviving some speculation. If they're imagining TVL similar to Ave and Maker, well, Curve is actually right in between the two. So it may be possible that Michael here is considering that the entire total TVL locked into Curve might eventually serve as collateral for Curve USD. But nothing in this um, gives us any indication as to what the collateral is going to be. According to the Curve JS repository, it only cites Ethereum as collateral. So best not to get your hopes up too much. Uh, continuing here. Well, 2% to borrow, similar to others, but you can get close to 100% LTV. Okay, pretty interesting. Without a risk of liquidation, risks are greatly reduced there. Interesting, reduced risks of liquidation at near 100% LTV. Can borrow max and sleep well, though if you like to use leverage, maybe you not sleep so well, but better than with normal liquidations. Really, really getting curious here, right? There's one final page of this leaked chat which goes into the most explosive details because the curvy user asks, how do you manage to get without a risk of liquidation? That's a great question. Mitch replies that there's a special AMM which smoothly converts your collateral to stablecoin if the asset price goes down and back to the same asset if it goes up. So a dip or a flash crash with a bounce wouldn't really kill you. This is pretty interesting. We'd seen previously that it was leaked that the uh, entire stablecoin infrastructure had this LAMA, L-L-A-M-M-A, -M -M in which the AMM stood for Automated Market Maker. Um, but we didn't really know what role it played in the ecosystem. Here it's being revealed that this is a special AMM which is designed to automatically deliquidate you when the price drops and reconvert it back into uh, the collateral as the price goes back up. In other words, this is almost like the opposite of most AMMs. And most AMMs, or sorry, the opposite of most lending stablecoins. And most lending stablecoins, when there's a liquidation, you kind of lose everything, but you get the uh, collateral. In this case, when the price is going down, it converts the collateral to stablecoin. Pretty interesting. And it's being done all automatically. Now, here, I think Curve and Mitch have really benefited from the fact that they released V2 about a year ago. Uh, Curve V2 pools had this capability of automatically rebalancing liquidity, and it was really this like zero to one innovation that to date, no one has caught up on this. Um, so within this, this was essentially rebalancing LP positions within uh, TriCrypto and other V2 pools. And as the price of these assets moved, it would infer the price on its own and rebalance your positions automatically. In this case, we are doing this with um, a lending protocol. So normally at liquidations, like the price shoots down, everybody panics, everyone hustles to try and get their, um, you know, their collateral 
we see gas prices spike and this happens for like uh, millions of users at a time so it's like really painful and some users can't afford to do it this looks to be using the same v2 mechanics that automatically rebalance your portfolio to automatically rebalance your loan position which kind of makes sense there's really no reason that you need to have this kind of arbitrary like need to monitor the price of crypto 24 7 and if in three in the morning there's like a wick downwards in the price of like bitcoin or ethereum all of a sudden you need a panic and recover your collateral here it's just doing it automatically and from the looks of it it's kind of like building this into the actual like um mechanics actually let's get to this point here because it's really interesting uh, what happens if the network is like super congested we've seen gas over 1000 guay like six months ago so here Mitch says, maybe you're playing near the liquidation threshold. You might lose maybe a percent of your holdings if you max borrowed, had drinks, and went to sleep. I think that's fine if trades on chain are still going. Instead of liquidations, normal trades are used. Like, oh, it's more profitable to swap there, and it actually performs maintenance of the loans. Besides, if 100,000 guys borrow, you don't really want to run and liquidate them all. They get converted, deconverted to from stablecoin all at once. So this is pretty interesting. We've seen some hints at swap mechanics. We still don't have a lot of details on it, um, but it sounds like it kind of functions similar to V2, where there's uh, like the capability for users to notice like if prices or something gets out of whack and re-arbitrage it. So in this case, it becomes more profitable to swap. And when these users are making these trades on the pool to perhaps bring it back in balance, uh, that's actually where the maintenance of the loans comes in. So instead of you having to wake up at 3 a.m. and balance your position, arbitrators can rebalance the position automatically for you. Pretty interesting stuff. And this is, I think, one of those cases where Mitch taught everyone how to do this a year ago. It was just sitting out there in V2 pools, functioning perfectly, uh, superior to any other trading pool option for the past year or so. And no one else thought to come along, rip the code, and apply it to a, their own lending stablecoin. So Mitch is just going ahead and doing this himself and sending all the fees to Curve. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, you know, we see a few of these hints in here. Like we note that you can get leverage off this, which is a pretty interesting concept. We're going to need to learn a bit more about how exactly this leverage works. But pretty interesting is thinking about this, and also pretty interesting that he's thinking of using this to allow you to get very, very close to max 100% uh, LTV uh, with lower risk of liquidations. We'll have to see what comes of this. Um, we don't know if this 2% is fixed, if it's variable, if that's just a suggestion or if it's actual, uh, but we see a lot of interesting peaks under the hood here. So very exciting way to start the week. We don't know when this is coming out yet, but uh, I think all of us are still going to be on the lookout for it and we'll see what happens when this comes. Uh, so at right, right away, we've seen that Curve USD is in fact a very novel, novel approach to a stablecoin. Um, we'll have to see how it works. Maybe this is the reason it's delayed. We'll find out. Drop your thoughts. Drop your comments. Drop any more alpha chats like this, because always, always a uh, fun to see the kind of frontiers of innovation on cryptocurrency and DeFi. Stay safe, friends, as always.